Hey there, Sarlotte here. Welcome to our video series where we talk about online business models, our observations, and most importantly, business opportunities that might help you. If you are new to our channel, welcome. Today is Sunday, May 17, 2020, and today we celebrate Father's Day. I wish all fathers a happy Father's Day. If I ask you, your father, is there one particular moment, a moment that you remember that impacts your life? Perhaps not then, but now. We all remember little snippets of memories, snapshots, um, personal. I remember one memory that has taught me a valuable lesson. That memory is forever in my heart. Three, three words. Please, <laughs> always say please. Thank you, always say thank you. Please, always say please. <laughs> okay, it's two words, but please is worth two. When I was young, maybe uh, 12, 13 years old, please and thank you were not something that I would normally say. Perhaps because I was the oldest child, I demanded things. For example, give me that, or I want ABC. <laughs> Please and thank you were sadly missing. Perhaps my mother had tried her darn yes to straighten me out. I don't remember. But I remember the day that my father spoke of those words. It went like this. Father, I really admire Rineongo and Fa. These names are fi fiction because uh, I want to protect the innocent, but they were my... Um, my uncle's adopted children. Why, I ask. Father, have you listened to how they talk? They talk? I said, talk? How do they talk? My father, they say please. They say thank you. Always please. Always thank you. My father, clever, cool. He got through my sick skull. And I just wanted to please him. And before you know it, <laughs> I was saying please and thank you every chance I got. I think my mother was shocked by the sudden change. That's one memory that I kept returning to. I learned to say please and thank you so much. So it's imprinted in my DNA. Plus I learned that the best way to reach children is through sharing sincere reasoning through love, not demanding rules. Thank you, fathers, everywhere. Everywhere. Last word. Humor. <laughs> My father wrote a letter to me once while I was in school. He loved money. He thought poverty is a, great, is a disease, the only one that his beloved island suffering from. I kept that letter. Anyway, to you, father. Money, dear my dear friend, I'm not defending you. You never needed me. They say you can't buy me happiness, but it helps. They say you can't buy me man uh, manners. It's not your fault. Respect, not your fault. Morals, that's not fair. Character, definitely not your fault. Eh? Common sense, I never said that about you. Trust, that's my department. Patience, my department too. I'm never the one to sit around and wait. Patience, not true. You are forever waiting for me to make the right move. Class, you got class. <laughs> I can go on defending, defending you forever. My dear friend, money, stay close, stay with me. Happy Father's Day. Until next time, stay safe.